Okay, it is 4.40 in the morning and Ozzy is very clearly letting me know that he is hungry. And he's having a fit. I know you missed that, but I'm gonna show you again how to give him fall. First I'll let him eat. Okay, here I just measure his food out half a cup in the morning. And I give him some fresh water. Okay. Here's this one. Now I'm gonna start with the fresh needle just so I can show you that. Here is what it looks like. Just screw the cap off the end on each end. This needle, the needle. He has three, which if you can see, uh, there's the five, which is that, it looks like it's at that, but it's not. Um, okay, so there's five, there's 10, but he only gets three. So you can see it's just a tiny, tiny amount. Of insulin. So here's the bottle, which I like to, after I get it out of the fridge, I just kind of roll it in my hands like that, kind of warm it up and get the bubbles out, because you don't want any bubbles in there. And you just take the needle, stick it in here, like right there, okay, and then Tip it completely upside down so you can get some. You do not want any bubbles again, which I got some on that. So I'm gonna push it back in, wait a few seconds. I try it again, which you'll see there's a little black dot. So you just wanna go just a hair over that is three, which is what he gets. See, there's the black dot. Okay, so there he is. Now Ozzy's ready. So he will wait because he knows he gets an S and he can afterwards. Okay, I just want you to see it this time. Oops, that's him. It should just go really fast. And there you go, and that's it. Here's the needle. It's all good. Here's your grandson. Very cute. Mm. Now he knows he gets a snack. So he'll wait, or he'll want to run outside to get away from it. He always goes to the bathroom after. So I give him one of these. Which is what do you want? If he was a good boy, weren't you, Bobby? Okay. Okay, then so that I can use this needle again, I open an alcohol pad that I'm sending with you. Just open it up and wipe it down. Just wipe the end. Be careful, do not poke yourself. And make sure you don't bend that needle. So. There you go. And put the cap back on. You don't have to put the bottom cap on, just the top. But be careful, don't stick it in sideways because it will go through this orange cap. So just stick it on there like that. And stick it somewhere safe. And that is it. Now, Ozzy, what do you think about that? Here you go, buddy. 
Okay, now he's gonna go potty. All right, and that's it. It's that easy. Tell Grandma it's not hard at all. And Grandpa, say don't be scared. Not so bad, even though I wiggle sometimes. Oh, isn't he cute? As he lick him, lick him on. Look. Oh, you're so cute. All right. <laughs> just let me know if you have any questions. You'll be fine. It's you just have to get over the initial like scare of it, but he will wiggle a little bit. But you just hold him there and do it fast. The faster you do it, the easier it is. The longer you wait, the wiggly, the wiggly. He gets more wiggly, but um, he's used to it. It's, it's our routine now, and just remind him that, or just do it so fast, and then give him a snack, and he's happy. He's fine, and then he'll want to go potty, and he'll get back in. And that's it. You ready to go? You ready to go potty? Yeah. Okay. Say bye bye. Okay. All right.